Well, I wrote this piece as a response to the number of friends that I lost to AIDS, and one who was a particularly close friend who had just been diagnosed when I got the commission and was going to die within two years, because in those days, that was about the most time you had. And I took that as an important challenge to write memories of friends I lost and yet one friend I was losing. Um, this was a very personal piece. I didn't mean it politically, but it turned out to be political because AIDS is political. Um, I actually wrote it as a, a piece for my friends. And in the last movement of this piece, uh, the next to the last movement, uh, there are a whole series of friends that are echoed in the various woodwind melodies, and they are all friends who have died, and yet are with me in memory. And I think the important thing here is the last movement, the epilogue, because what it really says is, remember your friends that you lost, and they will not be dead in a sense. They will be alive because you're remembering them. And so when I hear the symphony today, I remember all of these people as the music progresses. And it's a very healthy thing to do, to remember the peace, people you lost and to be able to love them and understand that they're gone, but remember that they're wonderful people and what they had that was so wonderful about them. So that's what I've done in this symphony. Now that translates to the audience as melodies of people gone, but they're not specified because they're my friends and not necessarily known to them. And I didn't think it was necessary for them to know about it. I thought it was important for them to know that these were melodies that were of lost friends, so they could put their friends in those melodies because many people have associations of people who have died of AIDS. And of course, when we talk about leaving the earth, cancer or heart disease or other things can be translated into this. Uh, someone couldn't have someone who died of cancer and still feel the tragic feeling of loss and the memory of someone you loved. So it isn't really an AIDS piece now. It is a piece about tragedy, about loss, about anger and frustration and remembrance. And all of those things are human emotions that transcend a disease, a single disease. And today the disease is more controllable, so thank heaven, not so many people are dying. And we can understand it as a tragic symphony.